Hello everybody, my name is Paul Taste. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can improve some of our drone shots by adding clouds to the footage. So let's get started. Okay guys, so what I've done is I have made some cloud overlays that you can just simply drag over your footage and you're ready to go. The uh, layers are transparent, so there's no need to change any settings. You can literally just drag and drop them over. Uh, they are 4K at uh, 24 frames per second. Now just something to bear in mind is I've got uh, four templates. Uh, they're gonna be used for different situations. Uh, the one that's called Zero Tilt is for footage where you're flying straight forwards with the drone looking straight in front of you. The minus 10 tilt is where you've got a minus 10 tilt on the uh, gimbal. So it's gonna be pointing downwards very slightly. And again, moving forwards and sports mode in a straight line. The third one is gonna be at minus 20 tilt. So again, this is gonna be shot at a 20 degree angle downwards. And again, moving straight forwards. Uh, the very last one is pointing straight down towards the ground and going up at full speed. So I'm just telling you this, uh, so if you want to match up with your footage, you've got a better chance of knowing uh, which one will work where. The link is in the description down below. You can simply uh, drop them over your footage and you're ready to go. Now, just so you know, the footage I used to base this on, the drone was 80 meters up in the air and uh, going at full speed in sports mode. So it was around uh, 9 to 10 meters per second. And it's also worth pointing out that if you're moving backwards, you can just reverse the overlays and uh, use them backwards. If anybody's interested in how to make these for any piece of footage that you've got, uh, let me know. But to do this, you will need Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. So I've actually made these in After Effects and uh, then I've imported them into DaVinci Resolve to use them. Uh, so this way, people that don't have the subscription can still get hold of the cloud overlays. So that's it for this video, guys. It's actually taken me a really long time to make this video and uh, to make these overlays. So if you have found this video useful, hitting that like button and subscribing is a huge help to me as a creator. And I hope to see you in the next one. And there's just some things I'd like to mention quickly. If you try opening one of the uh, overlay files in Windows, it'll actually come up with an error message. But once you've imported it into video editing software, you'll be able to see it easily. Another thing is there are quite big files, so if you drop them into your editing program and it starts lagging, um, it will still work when you render it out, but it will look jittery when you play back. And lastly, if you're using 1080p instead of 4K, you'll just need to scale the overlays down to fit nicely over your video.